Hey, day one, and thanks for joining us here in the charge. You tuned into the Crypto Flight Edition of your fellow passenger stop. And we have some technical, emer not technical, sorry. We have some emergency details on the Dogecoin cryptocurrency. So I'd love for you guys to stick around. Give me your undivided attention, please. We have to, a lot to cover. We're going to go over some exponential moving averages, uh, 50 exponential moving average. We also have that consolidation range that we've been following. I also noticed a bearish pattern in the charge that I kind of failed to see. We're going to go over that. So yeah, if you're new here, welcome. If you're loyal, welcome back. So let's see what we have in the charts. And let's waste time. Let's dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right, so today is March the 22nd, 2021, and the current price of Dogecoin is going to be 5.5 cents. Cryptocurrency, rather, is down approximately 2.7% for the day. Okay, all right, let's get to this. Let's see if we can get this out before the market closes this daily candle. Well, this is, these are the 12-hour candles, so uh, if you're new here, here's what we've been following. That's it. Really simple. There's something that that stands out that's a little bit different than what we have actually been following. And I'll just go ahead and point it out for you. So this is the the sign that I should have seen right here. So, ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at is, first of all, the, the sideways consolidation for the new for the new folks who are just stopping in uh, right down here is going to be at four point five cents all the way up to like seven point nine cents. We've been just kind of following this large consolidation range, kind of speculatively saying that Dogecoin be, could be trapped within this large range consolidating in preparation for its next move right I've, in either direction for the upside or the downside obviously the bulls want the market to go up i'm the neutral party we're not invested in dogecoin just yet so yeah i just want to kind of go over that very briefly so what you're looking at on the screen ladies and gentlemen is uh, you know i follow patterns on the channel we only follow follow support resistance and patterns and the two arches over the price action here is what you're looking at this is considered a double top where the part the market goes up here right march the 8th 2021 and then it kind of goes to the same level right uh, march the 14th 2021 and it pretty much finds a top okay this is i'm not sure if this is the official top and it's going to go down significantly lower but for the time being this is a verifiable bearish pattern okay a double top formation so we go ahead and erase that so i just want to kind of explain that for the uh the new technical guys remember i'm just uh, i do interesting analysis and this is kind of like mixed with asmr as well well that was kind of weird uh but we also do go over that on the channel as well we're kind of incorporating that a lot of changes going on guys kind of bear with me here so this is a double top on the pad on this uh, on the market okay so this simply means that the previous level of support may be jeopardized it may get compromised i just want to kind of put that out there right now so where's the previous level of support it's going to be right here okay at this level at uh let's see it's at it's like 5.5 cents remember guys these are like some extremely long numbers but if the market decides to kind of break below this level that wouldn't be out of the ordinary because remember when you have a bearish setup it's more likely than not going to revisit the previous level of support hopefully that's noted for my new technical guys okay um and it's not always guaranteed to play out to prevent this it needs to stay above this red line as you can see it appears the buyers are kind of trying to protect that level because they realize you know that, that this should have never happened not should have never happened as a result of the market's behavior the double top that just took place in the market the market is reacting to that bearish setup, if that makes sense. So if the market is going to kind of erase this uh, double top that just was formed in the charts, that just means they have to hold this line. The buyers need to protect this line. Let's just say for it needs to take some time and just after the markets are both in agreement that the market wants to go higher, then it will continue to go higher. Hopefully that actually made sense. But as the market sits right now, the market wants to make a new low because of the double top okay so let me just kind of erase that line hopefully that actually made sense um and I, hopefully i don't say that and people are like offended when i say that i just i kind of say that i'm not sure why i say it guys all right so if if that level is compromised the 5.5 cents with the lengthy numbers then the next level that we do is just kind of go to this level down here really simple you have to take it one step at a time and this is 5.1 cents okay but i don't want to start throwing out a million a million lines well, here's what i'm going to do Remember that exponential moving average that we used to follow? I'm going to pull it up and show you where it is. And these are the 12 hour candles. And I'm going to show you something. Hopefully, you guys are like going on exchanges and actually pulling up these charts because I think this is going to be extremely useful for you at least over the next, you know, three days, a week, a month, or even a lifetime, right? Here's the exponential 50 moving average on the chart. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. What you're looking at has taken place in the past before. 
And if you notice here, the last time the price action, the cryptocurrency got below this 50 moving average on the 12 hour, it had a pretty um, interesting drop to the downside. Let me just go ahead and do a really quick measurement of how much of a percentage drop came into the market after it got below that uh, 50 exponential moving. It went down 17.5 percent. Now, I'm not saying that's actually going to happen, but you have to be open to that. I'm going to assume those of you out here who are, excuse me, investing in Dogecoin have done your research. OK, yeah, you're not listening to me for financial advice. I'm just kind of looking at these interesting lines on the charts, explaining the beautiful story behind price action. OK, that's all I'm doing. And if it were to happen, then you just again, you have to be open to that. So let's just say just for an example that the market does get below this line here. Let's let's do let's do this. Let's actually measure how much it went down over here as well on these 12 hour candles right here uh february the 25th 2021 let's just do a really quick measurement of how far it went down it spiked down 11.4 uh, percent so let's just say that i don't know we'll get an 11.4 percent move to the downside since that's a less of a pain i guess in the market or i know a lot of you are doing long-term investing you don't care how far it goes down you're just gonna buy it anyways right so uh, to each his own right so in terms of what it is in terms of like painful or not Okay, so if it breaks below this level, 5.55, let's see, let's do like 11% to the downside of where it is right now. So that would bring the price, so the cryptocurrency, all the way down to 4.8 cents. Okay, that's like an 11% drop to the downside, okay? So that's that's what I would do. Like if, I, if I'm not able to like put out videos every single day and you're like want to kind of do this on your own um, and you want to say, okay, where's that moving average? Again, 50 exponential moving. It has to be an exponential EMA moving average, unmodified moving average, okay? So that's the 12 hour. But here's the interesting thing that, I, thing that I wanted to show you before we close it out. Notice how it's right below the price on the 12 hour. And then what I'm going to do is pull up the daily chart. Now watch this. Okay, if my computer can catch up. Oh, that's kind of awkward. All right, so there it is. All right, so if you notice on the daily chart, you see how it's it's actually below the price a little bit lower. You see that? It's actually all the way down to uh, 4.9 cents. So I actually wanted to show you that. That's why it's, it's extremely important, guys. You know, just pull up your charts. Even if you don't, like, follow technical data, just kind of pull it up. I don't know, just for fun, right? And then just kind of pull up the EMA 50 moving average, and then you'll kind of see it's just below the price. Um, it's not guaranteed it's actually going to come down to that level. But I think, I don't think it would be a bad idea. I think it would actually be a little bit healthy to kind of, you know, do a little bit of a push to the downside, find some sort of financial support. I've been over this many times dogecoin is seeking financial support when dogecoin finds a sufficient amount of financial support it's likely going to bounce off of that area wherever that area is right who knows where the area is going to be maybe it's where we're looking at right now maybe it's going to go lower not sure but i definitely wanted to show you how it looks on the 12 hour here's how it looks on the daily it's at 4.9 cents and i also think we reference at on once upon a time on one of our videos i'm going to pull up the three day guys this is going to look familiar if you follow us closely here's where the exponential moving average is on the three day and that's why I was saying, like, it's kind of, it's not like an alarming sign, but it's definitely something that we need to take into consideration because it's like well away from the price. You see that? The last time the market actually found support at this exponential moving average on the three day back in January the 28th, 2021, you see how it had that exponential move to the upside. So I think the, the true financial support in this market is probably going to be at the three day exponential moving average because if, if this exponential moving average continues to go up, towards the price i think it's going to take some time because right now on a three day it's at like 2.9 cents so oof, i mean if the market wants to correct all the way down there which i'm not sure if it's going to happen i'm not going to say i don't think it's going to happen i'm not going to say that i think it's going to happen again i'm the neutral party it's far away from the price this needs a lengthy consolidation if we're looking for the three day moving average or the 50 moving average on the three day rather to catch up with the price it's probably going to take some time at least a good 30 60 days i mean i would prefer to consolidate sideways for that amount of time so that the markets can find a sufficient amount of buying interest to at least consolidate continue to consolidate sideways um and eventually propel the price to the upside okay so that's what i'm seeing um so again Pull up those charts, tradingview.com. They have free accounts. You could just start those like right now, literally while you're, you're listening to the video. And that's pretty much 
all I have. So do I have a direction for the market? Yeah, um, I've, I've been following BTC and it appears, is the operative word, it appears, okay, that the market is under a little bit of pressure. It's trying to back test the previous level of, of resistance. So we've already kind of located that on these daily candles. And I think on the 12 hours, something like that. So we're talking all the way down to if the market continues going lower, just expect to see the price down at like five cents even or 5.1 cents even. So that's that's pretty much all I have in terms of a retracement. Uh, can this all go away and the market just kind of blast off to the upside to seven cents? Maybe, but I'm not going to really count on that, honestly, because I, I truly think the market is seeking financial support. The sellers have stepped into this market right here, right there. It's pretty obvious to me that 6.3 cents. Yeah, they're not interested in pushing this price. They don't want the buyers to get above that price. Not now. Not right now. OK, so I guess if something else happens in the market, like you guys know, I don't look at the tweets, guys. I'm, I'm not interested in that. The price activity is suggesting that the market wants to continue lower, okay? You have the, you have the levels. Uh, I guess I'll give you a time frame. Let's just call it within the next week, up to two weeks, okay? That's kind of a kind of a random uh, or kind of my, my, my go-to time frame. It's always like two to three weeks, right, everything? So that's all I have. You have the level, 5.1, 5 cents, if, there's, if it, the market continues to retrace. And you, uh, hopefully you guys remember that as the, what we look for is the, the, the kind of the methodic, you know, that slow move down, that nasty, the drops. No, 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 we, we don't, I don't want to see that because that is an indication that they're selling, like they're, they're dumping. I don't, I don't like using the word dumping, but they're really selling a significant amount of cryptocurrencies in the market. If you see the, you know, just a really nasty move to the downside. So just kind of be mindful of that as we continue to kind of understand what is going on in the beautiful story behind price price action. That is the end of this video, V-E-D-I-O. This is kind of a joke. One of the commenters is probably laughing, cracking up right now. Uh, so that's the end of this in a uh, beautiful segment of this uh wonderful story so let's go ahead and close it out here guys thank you for your time leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content if you found any valuable information in this content please uh, support the channel by leaving a appropriate thumb and a comment that's pretty much it that's all we ask and um, also before you go if you're new we also cover the traditional stocks i'm not sure if you're into that but seven days a week every day we cover that so we'd love for you to join us on this very interesting journey at times i'm pretty sure you guys have heard some interesting things on this channel and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So take care of yourselves, protect your portfolio, execute your strategies. We're going to talk very soon. Bye for now.